Hi, in this lesson, we will learn how to do ABAP debugging. ABAP debugger is a wonderful tool used by ABAP programmers or sometimes also by the functional consultants to analyze the program flow line by line. Suppose you want to understand the program flow of any standard transition code or any custom T code which we have not developed. So in that case, to understand the program flow, how it is working, what are different function models are used, how is the program flow is going on. In that case, we can use a web debugger to analyze the flow of program line by line. Second, we can use to identify any bugs in the program by checking the runtime content or by trying the execution of select query or any other statement by changing the values of variables or internal tables at the runtime to fix the program and make it like bug free. So in that case, we can make use of a web debugger. So when learning a web debugging, First, we have to understand how to enter into the debugging mode. There are different modes to enter into debugging mode. So very common way is by typing a slash h in the command field. Here on the screenshot, you can see the example, we have this program, this P code. And if you want to debug this program from the same screen, so we just have to type slash H and after that, if you execute, so the program will run in the debugging mode. The second option is with the help of breakpoints, which we can keep before running the program or during the debugging mode. Like before executing the program, we can set the breakpoint like this, or once we are in the debugging mode, at that time also we can set the breakpoint. You have to make use of this icon, exit debugger or disrate debugger. Next option is on the AC38 screen. Here we have the option as debugging. So if you click on this button, we directly enter into debugging mode. And one more option is with the help of ABAP keywords. You can write the keywords like breakpoint and second option is break space the username. The difference between this, if you write this breakpoint, this is the hardcore breakpoint. For all the users, this breakpoint will get triggered. And this one, break space username, this will get triggered only if this user is logged in. So those are different ways to enter into a debugging mode. Now once we are into debugging mode, we can make use of the function keys F5, F6, F7 and F8. We learn this in detail. So F5 is used to execute the program line by line and F6 to execute the block by block and F7 executes all line the code in the block together or we can also use to return. And F8, this will execute the entire program. We'll see this detail in the execution part. So along with this, we'll also learn like how to make the system variables, SY structure, what is meaning of size of RC, site type is, etc. And we'll see how to check the content of variables, tables, and change the values at runtime. So let's log in to the SAP system and start with the first point to understand how to enter into debugging mode. Now, I went to SCP screen. So, for example, I have the T code ZPO underscore detail that is purchase order details. And when I execute this T code, I can see this output. Now, let's learn how to enter into debugging mode. Now, from this screen, if you want to execute this through debugger, so what we have to do, very common way, type slash H and press enter. Here you can see the message debugging is switched on. 
Now, if I execute, so you can see the app debugger is open. You can see list of one, two, three. Okay, this service screen, we can see the program flow. And this arrow indicate the current position, the current line, which will get executed. And on the right hand side, we can make use of this to check the variable contents or the table is such a contents here. So this is one way. Here I am first explaining only how to enter into, into debugging mode. Okay, remaining how to go to the next step that we will learn in next session. So first here, just understand how to enter into debugging mode. Okay, this first option. Now here if I press F5, Okay, now let's take example, I want to set one more breakpoint at the runtime. Now, once we are inside this program, okay, and here I want to set one more breakpoint directly in the second perform routine. So what we can do here, just single click. So we can see here breakpoint set. Okay, now if I press this key, so we can see the program flow is here. Okay, execution line. So this is the second method at runtime. Once we are inside the program, so how to set breakpoint at different position. If you are not set the breakpoint at the initial level. For example, one more breakpoint I want to set here. Okay, now the execution line is here. So like this way, we can go into debugging mode by typing slash h or by setting at the runtime. The second option, so let's just find out the program for this decode. Where I go to system, here is status, and here we have the program name. Copy this, go to SC38 program name, and here we have one button that is debugging. If you press this button, see directly the program debugger is executed okay the by default the first c1 which will get trigger is initialization okay so this is second method to enter into debugging mode fine now the next method we'll see now go into display mode now before execution the program Suppose if you identified some block which you want to debug, so what we can do, directly come at that place and here, like set a screenshot, uh, sorry, set a debugger. Like first I want to debug this. So either you can click directly here or select this and click here. Okay, set delete session breakpoint. This is external breakpoint. I will explain later. As of now, use this. Okay, so like this, we can set the breakpoint at different places. Around 30 breakpoint we can set in a session. Okay, now if I execute the program, program will stop at the breakpoint level. Okay, now if I press F7, it will Go to next step and now here our second breakpoint is triggered. Okay, now to delete the breakpoint at runtime. So either we can deactivate by going to breakpoint, deactivate all the breakpoint or delete all the breakpoint. So let me delete all the breakpoints. Now you can see the breakpoint is deleted. Now if I execute can see directly output. So we can set as well as delete the breakpoint at a runtime. time. Now the last method we'll see is with the keywords. Take example, I want to use keywords to set a breakpoint. So what we can do, here I will write breakpoint, save and activate the program. This is hardcore breakpoint. So now if you are using hardcore breakpoint, so what will happen whenever we execute the program, by default, that breakpoint 
you get trigger and program execution will stop at that point. This is called the hard, <coughs> hard code breakpoint. We generally don't use this breakpoint in the real time scenario. Okay, only for demo purpose, I'm showing this. Okay, the disadvantage of this breakpoint, this get trigger to all the users. Suppose there are 100 users in your company and by mistake, if you forget to remove this hardcore breakpoint and if you transfer this program, so for all the users, this breakpoint will get triggered and the execution will stop like this. Okay, now execute, you can see the output. Now the second method of keywords breakpoint is for specific users. This means that we can set the breakpoint for our own ID only. Just take example, I want system to stop at this point only when I am executing the program, not for the other users. So in that case, you have to type like this break space our user ID. Okay, save, check, and activate. Okay, now if I execute the program. See, now the breakpoint is triggered because I am logging with this ID. Okay, but if any other user is logging, this breakpoint will not get triggered. Okay, so let me show you how that works. Now, as of now, I log in with this ID. So this is triggered. Okay, now let's try with some other users. So what I will do, I will just set one more breakpoint here. Okay, now I'm trying to execute for other users. So here I want to change my username. So what I will do, sai hyphen u name is the user ID. So at runtime, I will change this value 15. Okay, so now system will assume a different user is logging. Okay, so this breakpoint should not get triggered now. Now if I execute, see the output. Okay, so in real time, if you want to use Hardcore breakpoint use this concept break space your user ID. So in this way, the breakpoint will create trigger only on your ID. If you have a critical program which frequently needs some debugging, so in that case we can make use of this big breakpoint break space user ID. So in this way, we will learn different method of how to enter into debugging mode. Okay, now next we'll learn how to make use of function keys F5, F6, F7, and F8. And we'll learn different techniques how to debug the ABAP program that we'll learn in the next session.